What's up? It's Moses, and this is No Jumper Expo. I'm from uh, Blair County, Pennsylvania. I live in Hollidaysburg. Growing up, I was a dumbass. Like I, I was just skating and, and shit. Like, like from like 12 on. When I was young, like I didn't go to school. So like, so, like ever. Like eighth grade, I went for like, like 17 days. I got three detentions, and I was just like, fuck this. I went back. I got a diploma through like homeschooling shit, but it was like, it was easy. Uh, my first inspirations were like, like I was seven when I got a guitar. It was like some like three quarter size Fender Strat. I'm a really big Morrissey fan. I like, like I got the fucking Smith like tattoo here. I got like uh, Robert Smith like the cure is like fucking huge. And I got a Wisdom car on my neck. Uh, but like a bunch of shit. I listened to Bright Eyes Heavy for a long time. I listened to uh, like a lot of like Sex Pistols, like the like Kennedy's shows were like, that's like when, when I started doing shows, I wanted to be like that. Their shows were the craziest shit, bro. The first rap album I listened to, I was 14, 13 or 14, I listened to Elmatic, and that was like like the start, which is crazy, because like, it was like 20 years or some shit after it came out. When I, when I first started playing music, I was playing acoustic guitar and singing and shit and posting on YouTube. Well, no, when I first started, I was like, I was like eight or nine and I was playing uh, guitar with my sister in a band. And we played like, like bars and shit, like stupid shit, we played like, uh, like ACDC covers, like uh, fucking, oh, shit. not rap music at all. Then like the first rap show I did, I was 15 and the whole shit got like shut down by the police. Well, the first rap song I made, I was like 14 or 15. It was called Who Knew? And and I posted this on SoundCloud and it got like a thousand views like the day I posted it. And I wasn't like, I didn't have a bunch of followers on like Instagram or Twitter or any of that shit. So I was just like, fuck, like a thousand people in a day, like that's crazy. That was like, you know what I mean? Like the, like the first time it happens for anybody is like weird. Cause it's like, you don't expect that many people to like care about this shit. And then I was slacking for like forever. I had like songs on songs on songs, but like, I didn't push it out, like I just I just like sat on music. And then I, I made my first like tape when I was like 15. I put it out and like people kind of fucked with it and then I deleted it. I made 11 more tapes and I didn't post any of them. I just like would make them and delete it. And like delete like all the files and logic, like delete like, everything because I get so mad at myself. And then uh, the fucking Love Me song, like that changed like everything. And it was just, I had everybody like, like, and you have like, people that I'd never expect, like people that I was watching like interviews with, like on here or whatever, or, or on XXR, Fade or whatever, like years ago. Like it just switched my life from, from trapping to like, I want to do shows, I want to make music. Doing drugs, I was like 14, and I started smoking weed or whatever. And that shit escalated like super quick, super quick, bro. I never smoked shame. That's like it. I never did that shit. I never shot anything up. That shit was like, just like, gross to me. And that was like East Coast, like that shit's heavy, like, like like heroin and shit like that. And I was never on like that. I used to do acid a lot. I used to uh, like obviously sip a lot. Uh, and then like I said, like I had like a whole opportunity set up that I fucked up just from like sipping and taking bars. Like I almost lost my life to, to fucking Xanax and Lee. Bro, people don't believe me when I say like 30, 40 bars a day. Like, people, I'm like, why would I make that up? Never again, you know what I mean? But it's like, it was a means to an end. People think like, I'd be like so sober, like, like skating or doing whatever. And, and people think I'm like fucked up. Cause they're so used to me just being like this like shell of a person. And I was like, I smoke weed, I, I take edibles. Uh, as far as like, like where I'm out with music right now, I'm still just trying to promote the tape, the Love Me, Leave Me shit. Uh, 
if, if you haven't heard it, it's on iTunes, on Spotify, all that shit. Um, I'm working on a couple of different projects. I'm trying to just, just work with as many people as possible and build up like a crazy ass song bank. When I'm making music, like, like I do the weirdest shit, like, or or it'll be completely you normal. Know, it's like so all over the place, unless I'm unless I'm like by myself making music. If I'm by myself making music, I I usually like start with like I'll play like guitar or whatever, or play piano and try to like write a song to that, and at least get like a hook or something. But if I'm like just in the studio, like fucking around with my friends and stuff, like I. I'll freestyle like, like a whole song, or like I'll, I'll write something. It's, it's, it's always different. But I'm still like, like I just turned 19. I've really only been in, in studios that were like actual studios for the past like three months. I really liked recording just like in my bedroom and like shit. Like I recorded "Love Me" when I was I was going through with and I was like at my parents' house when I was 17. I mean, yes, and that he was like. Like a, a huge like artist to me, and he was someone I looked up to. But I, I was like a lot of my friends were way more into shit than I was. I'm, I'm a fan of the music. I fuck with the music. I fucked with the music since like since like before. actually I think like I'm trying to think of the first song I heard that I was really like oh shit like Bright Side or Be My Boy probably. Um, my health. Ain't mentally, physically, I'm not my health's important right now. My, uh, I don't know. My, I'm trying to keep, keep like uh, relationships with with people like across the country intact. You know, and, like like stay talking to my mom every day. Keep myself like from from becoming something I'm not. Fuck all that. I was like. I'm, I'm, well, I was manipulative and just kind of like a dickhead with, with, with girls for a second. And I was like, I'm chilling, but I just, I just chill with my homies and make music. But I listen to, I listen to a lot of Draco. Um, I listen to a lot of, I fuck with Hoodridge Paul. Uh, I fuck with, uh, I fuck with Six Dogs. That's the homie. I, I fuck with like Fanic and Puya and all those dudes. Uh, Shake well with fire. I think a lot of people try really too hard to do this shit, but but at the same time, then I come out with some like some like super ass like Balenciaga. Like to, I, I don't know. I used to care a lot about fashion, and then when I got the clothes and I and I acquired the shit, it was like, fuck, like it's not really about like like what clothes you have or whatever, it's really about just like being comfortable and and, and knowing that you have to drip. Let me lead me, listen to it if you haven't yet. Uh, fucking alone video, out on the jumper, fit off for, wait, wait, are you coming up on a month? We broke a month? It's doing what it's doing. Um, Instagram, Steven Moses 99, Twitter, still Moses Straps. Uh, watch out. A lot of shit is coming by the end of the year. And then uh, 2019 is us. It's over. <laughs>